I've been playing live with Tim for now around two years, playing bass. We first actually played together at a huge film festival in Sydney called Tropfest, and he just sort of pulled me aside backstage one night and said, how would you feel about, you know, playing on the record, you know? Would that be cool? And you know, I was kind of like, absolutely, you know. Tim's pretty good with his demos. He, he sent them out pretty early to me. So I got to know the songs and I spent, you know, a good uh, month or two just listening to the songs. I didn't pick up an instrument or try and learn the chords. I just wanted to get to know the songs and become familiar with what he was trying to get across in the song first. It could, I could try it on Hofner. It's, it's just, optimum um, for, you know, bringing out the creativity of every musician rather than just having one person's vision sort of, you know, forced upon a group of musicians. You know, this is much more of a collaborative exercise. And having, you know, a producer at the helm just keeps you on the straight and narrow towards a, a goal, you know, for the record. So yeah, it's definitely the, it's a great way to work. I'm here really as, as a bass player for this album and I've done some backing vocals as well. I brought, you know, uh, three of my basses over, in particular this one here, this, uh, this 1965 Hofner bass, which is my uh, favourite recording and live bass as well. And I always tell people once you go to the Hofner, you know, it's hard to turn back because it, it just feels so unique as an instrument. It's very light. You know, any other uh, bass feels like you're sort of carrying this huge truck of an instrument on your shoulders. So, um, you know, that's been the main thing. And a bunch of effects down here in front of me, a tape echo, which I've been using just for some, you know, tube sort of drive at the front end of my sound you know, rather than using it as just an echo box. But really it's been about putting a bass into a beautiful old amplifier and just making that sound natural, pure, honest. And I think that honesty has been, you know, it's on each instrument in this section in a way. There's a real, you know, you're in the room with this record, you know, and the bass I think has been part of that.